Ooh, let them dogs out. <laughs> A little shit head. Yeah, I knew fishing on this spot wasn't going to be any big ones. This is the average size on this spot. Yeah, they're not huge. Who did them dogs out? <laughs> This, I don't know, this one might be bigger. Oh, he's a little bit of a kicker. Ah, a little bit bigger. Woo, pull a little drag, pull a little drag. Come on now. Come on, Mr. Sheephead. Yes, sir. He might be net worthy. where he goes his ass goes in the box Whoops. circumstances folks it's all about the circumstances me and nick were just talking about when the tide gets right we're fishing on a full moon and this current has been blasted so the tide is right perfect right now right here not on the other side of the boat but right here changer folks a game changer that's called a game changer folks a game changer I used to hate cleaning sheep's head, but not anymore.
used to hate cleaning sheep's head. I used to hate sheep's head, period. Well, hey folks, what you just witnessed right there was the power of a Makita one-handed reciprocating saw with lithium-ion batteries. And it's just a small reciprocating saw. The magic is this blade called the Flazol. This is an 8 inch Dexter Russell fitted to go in any reciprocating saw. They all have a universal end. These come in 8 inch, that's a serrated stainless steel, high carbon stainless steel Dexter Russell blade designed by Filets All. And I will be putting the link in the video description if not on the video. You take a reciprocating saw like this Makita, you flip back the little lever, and you drop it in, and there it is. This is the 8 inch blade, and they also have a 12 inch for monster fish. I got this in this complete case and everything on eBay, okay? It's all uh, lithium ion batteries, got a spare battery plus a charger, but that doesn't do anything for you if you don't have the blades. The Flazol blade has now made catching sheep's head for me. I, I don't hate it anymore. As you just saw, I did two sheep's head in a matter of what, a, not even two minutes. And I mean, I got perfectly good fillets. I mean, even on a small sheep's head, look at that. Nothing but meat. There's the little bit bigger one. There's the small, little small sheep's head I caught again. Took the rib cage right out. Took the skin off. What you just witnessed is me picking this up and using it for the very first time. You'll get, I can get better with some practice I'm sure okay but this is a total game changer for anybody who is cleaning big fish uh, you offshore fishermen your grouper your snapper your cobia your wahoo your king mackerel anything this is a game changer with that 8 inch serrated Dexter Russell blade by fillets all and um, it is wickedly sharp and it goes right in here and what this whole thing is you may be saying oh yeah 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 okay I got a Rapala cordless fillet knife at home well let's see your cordless fillet knife last for a couple hours and do big scaly fish nasty fish like sheep's head big black drum even red fish uh, groupers, snappers, everything, all the fish that have the super exterior, you know, tough exterior and they've got big bones. Let's see that thing hold up compared to that. 3,000 rotations back and forth per minute, I believe it is. What you have to have, you could think to yourself, well, I don't have to have a Makita. It doesn't matter which one you have. You can get a corded model if you've got a plug-in. I clean my fish usually right on my boat. So um, 
I don't have power, so I went with the cordless version. Captain Paul at Filetzal kind of recommends the cordless version. Less likely to get electrocuted, you know, when you're dealing with a fish cleaning table and water and all that. So the cordless really works out. Captain Paul, who is the man from Filetzal, he's had the same Makita uh, cordless one-handed reciprocating saw for years and I believe he even is possibly still using the same blade. He actually even told me, Dave, it'll get a little easier as the blade dulls just a little bit because this thing, this serrated blade is so wicked sharp right now that it's, it's kind of incredible. So you've got plenty of safeties on here, but this is no kid's toy. You got to flip this lever down and then you can hit the trigger. Back here, Makita has a second trigger for holding it like a gun, and you can't pull the trigger unless you push in the button on the side and then you can hit it. But the reason being that the Makita really works out is because you want to be able to grip it up here. You want to kind of hold this as if it is a fillet knife. You can't, you can't clean a fish with one of these that is this kind of a trigger model and that's all they give you. So Makita makes this one. You can find them online at all different prices. And of course, you go to Filetzal. Hunters, there you go. How about butchering a deer, butchering a hog? There's hunters that this would be come in very handy. You can go to the Flazol website. I got his card right here. It is F-I-L-L-E-T Z-A-L-L dot com. Flazol dot com. And get with Captain Paul. He's out in Texas. And he'll ship you these blades. These blades, uh, I think the 8 inch runs about $32. The longer uh, 12 inch, I have one, but it's up in the boat. You just picture this thing out to about here. I think it runs about $37. So you're basically buying, you know, a new knife, but you're buying a new knife to go in here. This is a game changer for Dave, for me. Um, total game changer. I used to have a like three sheep's head <coughs> limit on my boat. And you saw the footage that I just did where I had the fillet knife and the whole nine yards cutting. I just cleaned two of them a lot faster than I cleaned two of them in that footage. So um, I'm actually going to end up volunteering for the uh, Jacksonville Offshore Sport Fishing Club's El Cheapo Sheep's Head Tournament, where we end up cleaning, I don't know, a thousand pounds of sheep's head that were caught that day. The world's largest sheep's head tournament, I believe, is held right here in Northeast Florida in Jacksonville, Florida, at the Mayport Public Boat Ramp, and they got guys that are cleaning fish. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to volunteer my services with my fillets all and my Makita even has a nice little LED light. You might be saying to yourself, well, how do you maintain this? Just keep it clean. Wipe it off. Spray it down with some WD-40. Maybe just wipe, keep your blade clean. Keep your blade dry. Just like you would with any other um, fillet blade that you're cherishing. Okay. Put it in my case. Button it up, put it in the boat, and I'm ready for any sheep's head you catch, or you can catch, or any black drum, or any big redfish, well, 27-inch redfish, I'm ready. Now, trout, small, del smaller, delicate fish, you could probably use it, but it's a little wicked for it. It's really for those big bone, heavy-scaled fish. So, um... You'll be seeing this more and more and more in my videos, but I wanted to show you the game changer.
Alrighty folks, gotta love this sound. First cast out behind the boat with my new, uh, actually a trout idea, but I think it's a redfish. I'll show you how I'm rigging this if I get them to the boat. First cast. Let me get the net. First cast, folks. There's this new little deadly method that I am trying out. I don't want them to break me off in the rocks because there's rocks right below the boat. I can feel him shaking his head all over the place. Now he's going under the boat. He's right here. He's right here. First cast. This was meant for big trout. Only a 20 pound leader. My God. Emulating a ribbon fish. Oh my god! This is the reason I love trout, because I would have had them to the boat already. <laughs> I got Nick over here. Say hi, Nick. Hey, what's up, folks? <laughs> Nick's uh, gonna try to actually catch a sheep's head intentionally today. Oh, look at a big, giant, bull red fish. This is LT! Like tackle. Come on! Oh, yeah, but it's a fairy one. It's a fairy one. Yeah, I got it. Look at it, kind of bite me. All right, folks. Big bull red. Now, let me show you what I just caught him on. We just played a bite on the side right here. Look at that bite. He's probably about 14 pounder. First cast on this. First cast on my ribbon fish. Yum swirm, it's called. Looks like a ribbon fish. And it's all about how you rig it. Look how long a leader I got. And that's a little one ounce hanging on a little Duloc snap. But let me show you in the water what this looks like. Drop it in. Look at that. Look at that. Looks like a little bait fish. I don't know if you can see it, but that's what I caught him on. 